Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you for all the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Have you ever felt sad, but didn't quite know why? Feeling sad from time to time is only a natural part of being human. A sadness is one of the many complex emotions we experience. Even though you may not be able to explain it, sometimes it's enough to just let yourself feel what you feel without any judgment and wait for it to pass, as all other emotions do. But if this sadness starts to seem never ending and you've started to experience more days feeling gloomy than anything else, then it may not just be an emotional reaction to an event or experience. It might point to something else. Well, Psych2Go is here to help you by listing out the five most likely reasons why you may be feeling sad all the time. Number one, you struggle with misattunement. Misattunement is defined as the experience of not being seen, heard, or understood by those around you. It's often that you first experience this during early childhood, when your parents either fail to satisfy your personal needs, be it physical or emotional, or misinterpret them. But the more you experience misattunement, the more you may believe that you can't trust the people around you to be there for you when you need them. This may end up hindering your social skills, making you emotionally unavailable, afraid of commitment, or to develop a tendency of ignoring your personal needs. Number two, you have a lot of self-loathing. Have you had a hard life growing up? If you face tragedies like loss, heartbreak, abandonment, or abuse, then it may have become difficult for you to think of yourself as someone who could be happy. You may be more likely than others to listen and find comfort in your own negativity. This struggle with self-loathing may be why you feel sad all the time, since you can't move past this constant negative cycle of thinking. Number three, you're afraid to be happy. Do you keep yourself from being happy in fear that you'll get hurt in the end? The feeling of being sad all the time may actually stem from being afraid to be happy. You may be feeling uncomfortable letting yourself be too happy since you may think it won't last forever. However, while it's natural to be skeptical, guarded, and self-critical, being too cautious about opening up to people or allowing yourself the opportunity to be happy may ultimately explain the sadness you feel. Number four, you're afraid to be vulnerable. Are you afraid of intimacy? Do you worry about getting hurt, rejected, or left behind by the people you love? Like many others, you may have grown accustomed to being defensive when it comes to relationships, so much so that it's become difficult to let your guard down for too long. You may be so afraid to be vulnerable in front of others that you pull away from your closest relationships and shut yourself off from the world. However, this tendency of being afraid to be vulnerable may be preventing you from being happy. Number five, you're in denial of your emotions. Is there a certain grief or trauma you haven't processed yet? The reason you may be feeling sad all the time may be because you're in denial of your own struggles and are trying to bottle up your emotions. Whether it's regret, frustration, anger, disappointment, or loss that you're dealing with, being honest with yourself about it may help stop you from being stuck in self-destructive, emotionally repressive patterns of behavior and lead to some peace of mind. Do you relate to any of the signs we've mentioned? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might be feeling sad all the time too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.